And the reason behind the failure was just... Let's do an algae update video. Welcome to Dansville. Welcome back to Dansville. Welcome back to the algae series. Finally, it's been like two months since I've been able to get on board with this and uh, have some time to get around to making another video here. I apologize about that. Biggest news in this update, we're gonna, this is gonna be a quick back to back one update and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna start next and what we're gonna start next is gonna be in the next video which will be shortly right after this one's uploaded so there won't be much lag time there. We had some failures on our end here. This is the update, the failures. We had these four little 125 milliliter Pyrex flasks that we had started some samples in that failed and then our pond water that we were so proud of also failed and the reason behind the failure was just totally user error it was lack of uh, attention towards them um, I was out of town for a little while then we had the COVID thing where I was affected by that unfortunately so I wasn't able to tend to these guys for like over a month and so they just kind of sat and decayed and I'm going to show you what that looks like with not only these guys but the pond water stuff. So we're going to start a couple other samples in the next video that will be much more attentive, notes taken every day, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, also we've partnered up with some people to help with that and we'll share that at the end of this video. Exciting announcement. Before we get much further into the video everybody, I know you're liking this series. The first algae video I did has been my best performing video so far. So if you're continuing to like it, please like the video, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Leave a comment if you guys have any ideas or if you want to see me do some other stuff with this. Uh, and we're going to have a sit down chat video soon as well, talking about the overall goals here for this because those have slightly changed as well. So let's get into it here. All right, so as we can see here, these are now just empty jars of crystallized tetracillamus algae. Now, I'm pretty sure that this uh, strain, this varietal, was actually a marine strain and I had it in fresh water. So that is definitely a big, focus on the inside there. That is definitely a big um, bummer that I made that mistake, but we still have some samples of this. So hopefully we can rig up maybe some marine or some brackish water strains that uh, are uh, setups that we can try growing this again. But I am gonna still harvest this out. I've got a microscope coming here. So you know you can see there's no water at all in any of these. It's all just built up, dried out, dying on the sides. Um, but once I get my microscope in, I'm gonna try and scrape some of this out of there so we can still see what it looks like. Uh, but overall, you know, failure, yes. End of the world, no. Good learning experience. All right, and so here we are with our pond water samples, which they have, um, they've been sitting here. This guy was uh, fed the um, actual algae uh, Mercer of Montana fertilizer, and you can see there's very little left compared to what there once was. And like I said, everybody, this was just neglect on my part. So that's a big bummer. Uh, and then this guy here, which was fed the miracle Grow. Uh, fertilizer you know this is another failure here there's more water in here but I had doubled the amount that was in there so this is where we're at with this we want to definitely save these samples here um, get them into some jars or something like that and so they can be looked at under a microscope and we can still try and salvage any sort of usable data out of it but that's uh, that's where we are. That's a quick update for you guys. All right, so the next samples we're gonna be starting here is gonna be this right here. This is, come on, focus on there. Ah, here we go. Chlorella. So Chlorella DeVille right here, baby. Um, so this is gonna go in our next samples. We're gonna use some of the larger jars over there, which you probably can't see right now. Uh, and we're gonna be pairing it with some of this. This is Mercer of Montana. Hydroalgae Fertilizer Modified Gulliford's F over 2 formula. This has been really, really good. Uh, it was really good in that, um, that one super rich green pond water sample. It did really, really well for that. So we're gonna start these and we're gonna start small and that way we don't 
overdo it with ourselves if we you know are short on time or something that we can still do a really good job of keeping up with these guys here so this is the next stuff this is going to be the the very next video core 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 cor, i don't even know how to say this word god i'm tongue-tied today anyway chlorella chlorella deville is what we're going to be it's not chlorella deville but that's it's actually vol, vulgaris um but you know chlorella deville is funny uh so that's what we're going to be starting next big exciting news we've actually partnered with the local school here i don't want to give away too many details yet i want to get their permission to sh uh share their stuff with you guys and vice versa we share with them and stuff but we have partnered with a, a local school here they've got an algae club and we've teamed up together to do some research and do these experiments together and everything and it's going to be a lot of fun we're going to learn a lot together and stay tuned for all that because so this series is going to get bigger and better everybody i know we kind of we started off then we cooled off for a little bit but we're back in action don't give up on us we won't give up on you I'm Dan, this has been Dansville. Thanks for coming, we'll see you on the next one.